<laughs> Welcome to Dos Latinas. We are right here at the Fiesta King Cup Polo match in San Antonio, Texas today. And with me is my beautiful Latina Lisa Vital. How are you, Lisa? Very good, and thank you so much for having me today. This is one of my passions of one of the things that I do, passion to uh, be a part of this big event. I love it. Well, Lisa is a passion, is passionate about many things. Yes. She absolutely has a little bit of herself, her, along with her wonderful husband in just about everything that has to do with what is happening right here in San Antonio. So Lisa, I want you to tell me a little bit about today, about the polo match today. Well, uh, San Antonio Polo Club it started one of the first uh, San Antonio, I mean polo, in the United States. It's uh, one of the things that I'm so happy to be involved with. Um, it's something that we wanted to be a part of as a restaurant, part of me, and part of doing the Latina. I think this is the first uh, like a polo in the United States. This is really important for me as a Latina like you um, in San Antonio. San Antonio was the first in the United States. So that's something that I love to be involved now that is coming back and that's, you know, I'm, I'm here and I love to include two Latinas here. That's wonderful. You know, Lisa, this is an spectacular day that you guys like pray for a perfect day like today. We pray for the perfect day. When you when you put your mindset on something, it always happens. It is always perfect. When you put your mind into anything that you want to do, if you go in thinking positive, you're going to get nothing but positive out of it. Okay, Absolutely. Lisa. So I know that you are very famous for many reasons, besides that you are a beautiful Latina. And not only that she's a Latina, she is from Chile. Es chilena, bella y espectacular en la cocina. Lisa is known and she is famous along with her husband right here in San Antonio and everywhere else because of the taste and the flavor of what they cook best. Tell us a little bit about your husband and a little bit about your restaurant. Uh, my husband is French from Lille in France and um, I'm doing uh, a little bit of uh, flavors between uh, Chilean and uh, French so we mix those flavors together and that's how we fell in love. Um, we have a different culture, different cuisine and we push things up together and that's how we work together along and we open several restaurants together um, to build an empire not only just in the restaurant business but other things that we have in mind and to be a part of this community which which is important, important. Yeah, very yes, important very which important. is important and the beauty about Lisa is that like she says you know she felt in love because of the food but most of all because of the culture and Lisa's husband is very well known because he is from France Lille a little yes. town, little town, at least, yes, he close is, to Paris. He is from France. All right, so how and when did you meet your husband? Uh, when I was working for Tommy Lee Jones in Palm Beach, when I was his private chef. Um, that's what I got involved too much in polo. And then um, we, we met at one of the big events that we had in Palm Beach. And um, then we just had those years came by and all of a sudden we started connecting again. and. You know, we shoot the moon and we wanted to explode in a different way, supporting our culture. And, Your culture. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. And talk about the perfect couple that work together and there are the perfect leaders because you guys lead very strongly right here in our community in San Antonio. We, we, we are, in my end, we are the power couple because we support each other in so many ways. Um, not being from San Antonio or United States, we support each other and we're building something very good, building jobs, giving to the community back and doing everything that we have. 
Well, the most important thing is that you have always created jobs for many people. Yes. With your industry, it's always important to have the perfect health. Yes. And I know for a fact that if you are well known, it's because you have one of the best customer service in your restaurants that you have had right here in San Antonio. Yes, I mean, I, we do the outside and the utmost to, to create and to push that power of, of creation on, I mean, like I said, it's, it's really hard to, when you talk about restaurant service, I mean, it's a, it's a teamwork, just like what we're doing with everything in our lives, it's a teamwork. And I think creating a teamwork to push ourselves and do the best customer service, the best service whatsoever. It doesn't have to be a restaurant, it doesn't have to be um, whatever you do. Is whatever you do is about building a teamwork to push ourselves up together in a way that we always want to be. Like moving, team leader. Moving, moving forward. Yep. Team never, work. never by, never by yourself. Your team, it, it's the one that helps you out to go forward. Okay, so one thing that I've known that you are very well known is that you have been a professional private chef for many celebrities. Tell us a little bit about that, Lisa. Yeah, um, I got involved with the polo and I got a job just to do a little bit of chef here and there. I left my job, the regular job that I had, to do this, and I never regret what I did because it gave me opportunities to do other things that I'm, I'm right here with you, beautiful Lorena, and giving this interview. Um, I, you know, just shoot the moon. If you miss, you hit a star. Always, always just move forward. Um, I started with Tommy Lee Jones. In between that, I worked in different um, movie sets um, with Javier Bardem, with you name it, movies that I was involved. So I was not like cooking privately for them, but I was cooking for them because they were always eating what I cook for months. Well, so for me, that's cooking. For I can see. Junk, junk food, man. You name it. I mean, Lisa, I have, okay. <laughs> I can see why your husband is so madly in love with you, Amiga, because you have caught him by the stomach <laughs> with your cooking. Well, you know, I think we caught each other because we build each other up in a nice way, that we build things just like anybody that wants something in life. That's right, that is absolutely correct. So the beautiful thing about Lisa is that she is gonna be a part of those Latinas. We are gonna be able to experiment I'm so a, a lot of her world by who she is, how she does business, how she operates, but most of all, how she is completely dedicated to the community right here in San Antonio, Texas, and has a perfect balance has a beautiful family, and she's a great role model because she is definitely someone to follow, to know what are the keys to her success. I'm looking forward to do this, and I'm so happy to be included. And let me tell you, I have more stories. You have They're more good. stories. Woo! More stories. <laughs> yes, we are more stories. All right, so is, does this event happen like every year, about the same time of year, once a year? Yes, it's normally it's a, a King's Cup. Um, it's normally in Fiesta. So this is a one time a year. And the Polo Club is going to start, but well, it's already in, um, in the other side of the, the um, 1604. There's already a Polo Club that is already finished. So I'm looking forward. So. Next year will be at the San Antonio Polo Club. It's going to be a great, great place. I loved it. It looks beautiful. They have things for kids. They have uh, horseback riding lessons. They have so much, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. That's one of my passions besides cooking. Well, you know what, Lisa? Like everybody knows, San Antonio is one of the fastest growing cities, and I can, I can see why. There's just so much happening right here in San Antonio. Now that you are sharing the voice that there is actually going to be a polo club right here in San Antonio. Absolutely. That's news for I, me. I'm, I'm excited. I've seen it. It's done. And next year we'll be over there. And I cannot wait. This is gorgeous. Woo! And it's a great opportunity for everybody that loves and enjoy the outdoors and the hat contest and just to dress up in a Sunday. Normally it's a Sunday. Today we did it a different Saturday. 
but it's always good to just dress up and just move on to a next step. To just dress up and just have fun and watch the game. Well, I have got to admit. It's the, it's the game of kings. It's you know the, the game of kings, but Lisa, I have got to admit. So this morning I woke up and I was like so ready to go out to a beautiful event where I could dress bonita, I put on my bonita hat and be able to come in here a beautiful day, look at all these beautiful horses with a beautiful Chilena, beautiful Latina. I mean, I was like so excited excited because you know we need more events like this absolutely so. yes so this you is know, nice it's always it was a good time to get out of my uh chef jacket throw it in the dishwasher and go and do something different just to make something pretty everybody doesn't matter what job you have you can always just put something pretty and just go for it. That's right, that's right. And you know what, San Antonio, from what I can see all the way around me, it is full of beautiful ladies, gorgeous men, and they are all dressed to the tee, including you, my beautiful Bonita. So do you. Oh, gracias, amiga. Gracias, all right, so stay tuned because we are gonna be interviewing more people. You're gonna see who's here because the who of who of San Antonio is right here at this Polo match. Absolutely. Well, thank you and happy fiesta in June. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Right here, ending the most amazing day in beautiful San Antonio, Texas with my beautiful Lisa Vitae. What do you think about this day, Lisa? This has been just an amazing event. I've been supporting the San Antonio Club for the day that we started. And I'll introduce you to Ursula Ferry. She's been the anchor of KSAT plus everything that she's done and follow and get on a horse and get the what do you call? The ropes! <laughs> the ropes! Right. people in Latina Zoo, she has them. Yeah, well, I've been really appreciative so much. Lisa Vitell, Astorga. Yes. With uh, Bite and Bistro 9, has been a huge supporter of polo. Ever since we brought the San Antonio Polo Club back to the forefront of San Antonio. I, I don't know if you guys know this, but Polo is the first professional sport of San Antonio. This is what they played in the 1800s at Fort Sam Houston to get ready for war with the cavalry. So the best polo players in the world came out of San Antonio, Texas for decades and decades, starting like in the 1880s, all the way through to the 1980s when we had Rotama Polo Club. So if you go to the Polo Hall of Fame in West Palm Beach, Florida, you're gonna see pictures of all the people of San Antonio who played polo because this is where it all Sorry. was happening. 
I believe that polo is one of the most amazing sports around the world. Can you believe, Lisa, that we have it right here in the background of San Antonio, Texas? Absolutely. I cannot be more happy to bring polo back. And if it wasn't for Miss Ursula, it wouldn't be. It takes some ropes and horses and get on it and do it. If it wasn't well, you know, her. when we started right. this about 10 years ago, the San Antonio Polo Club was already a hundred and something years old. And then nobody was playing though in San Antonio. All of the people like me who played polo went everywhere else in the state of Texas and Florida and California to play. But here we are in San Antonio and we weren't playing. So I worked with the San Antonio Parks and Recs Department. They allowed us to use Almost Basin Park. And this was our first polo field in San Antonio. And then more and more people saw us playing and they wanted to learn how to play. And then we started a nonprofit program where we let inner city kids learn how to play. And it just grew and grew and grew. And now we're one of the biggest polo clubs playing here in San Antonio that is you can find anywhere in the Southwest. Well, you know what, Mrs. Ursula, this could not happen without people like you. You are Absolutely. a woman with a legacy, a woman that everybody looks up to for many reasons. But one of the main reasons is, is because polo is one of her strongest sports. Today, she happened to be riding the horses. Yeah, I'm being, sorry, I look so sweaty. Being, <laughs> she just being, came out of the horse, and it's being, okay. Being <laughs> surrounded with all the beautiful horses and all the wonderful people showing the best of what they've got. Tell me a little bit of your feeling of what does it feel to be up there being a star? A <laughs> star. I am just happy to be on a horse at any time. It's, it's my happy place. And what we found is that when we are teaching polo to children or let's say a veteran with PTSD, they find peace with that animal. And I don't know what it's about, but you just find a calm and a, and a tranquility. You feel one with God and nature. And especially kids who have had troubled lives, it calms them down and it gives them dominion over something in their life. This is something they can do and can control. Maybe the world is crazy right now, but this is right here, right now, something they can concentrate on that's not painful. So it, it, to me anyway, it's very therapeutic. Most of the people that you talk to who play polo will find, tell you it's addictive because it's like a medicine. It's like a, a pill that makes you calm down. So when I'm playing, I'm not thinking about anything else but me and that beautiful horse and that ball, and I'm trying to go somewhere with it. And I work with my teammates, which is something that women, let's face it, there's not that many no. co-ed sports. No. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, this is one of me. my players who yeah. Who I? He's my polo mom. <laughs> How? When did? What year did you start? I started when I was like 14. And wow. he's now he's now 20. Yeah. And he's going into the Marine Corps yeah, officers. Yeah, at least Saturday. Oh yes. wow! And this was his last game. Yeah, so last. he's been playing with us all this time. He played beautifully. It would never be the last. It will, it you won't always be the come last. back. First and. Thank you, Rowan. These are beautiful. I appreciate so it. Sweet of you. Thank you. We're, we're taping something for Dos Latinas. Oh, awesome. So I'm yes. going to be on the soapbox. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to be so, right here with Dos Latinas. So, so that's what I was it. saying is that boys and girls play together. And there is no advantage. No. A man may be able to hit the ball farther, but no, I may have. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, but I may have more technique and experience. So men and women play together on mixed teams for Ursula. Well, this is the kind of people that Ursula brings together. You yes. know, from the youth to the oldest. Because you're never too young and you're never too old. That's Especially right. When yeah. everything is done with love and the power of God. And right here with Ursula, she is so full of love and joy for the passion that she has, that she has driven this polo to be to the next level. Tell us a little bit about the nonprofit organization. So we have two nonprofits. One of them is the San Antonio Polo Club. 
and it has a new facility. Hooray, she's been yes. to it. You have to come. Gorgeous. Stunning place. Absolutely. One of the prettiest polo clubs you'll find in the United States. And it's just on the north side of San Antonio at 490 West Spect Road. We got it this year through a kind, generous donation from a woman named Kim Rapier, who, and Glenn Verrett. The two of them are changing San Antonio, revolutionizing the idea of nonprofits. So they gave us the home that we have been seeking for 10 years. And now we have it, now we have to just keep it running, which is why we have events like this, Absolutely. so that we can feed the horses and, and pay the workers and, and keep the place nice. So next year, Fiesta Kings Cup is gonna be at the new facility at 490 West Speck Road, the new San Antonio Polo Club. It's right north of um, Timberwood Park, right north of Stone Oak. So that's one side of it. Then we have another arm called the San Antonio Foundation for Equine Education, and that's called SAFE. And what SAFE does is it raises funds to cut down the price of any kind of horse-related activities. So we have the, the Semper Fi, America's Fun veterans that come out. We have a high school team that plays for free. We have an intercollegiate team that plays for free at, from Trinity University. So we have all of that happening at that facility now that we couldn't do. We, we, we had no plate, we didn't have one blade of grass. And it takes nonprofit organizations. So I want to take a moment to thank all the hundreds and hundreds of nonprofit organizations right here in the heart of San Antonio. Because without the nonprofit organizations, we will not be able to survive everything that we have gone through. Nonprofit organizations are the biggest organizations that we all need to support. Why? Because any time of an emergency, any kind of things that we ever need, we always count with the nonprofit organizations to be right there for our youth, for our people, for our community. And organizations like this is what keeps us alive. Thank you so much, Ursula. Today's day, my beautiful Latina, Lisa, Thank you. it was amazing. It was an amazing opportunity. The people were beautiful. The love, the joy, the weather, God knew it had yes. to be a perfect day. It did. It was, Amen. It was a perfect day to be right here at the Fiesta King Cup Polo match. What a match. What a Thank match. you. I appreciate you coming you. and you Thank as well. You. Thank you. Thank we'll you see you so next, much. Year, next at year at the new, at the new location. San Antonio Polo Club. Thank you so much. Thank and you. With Dos Latinas. Dos Latinas. Thank you, my beautiful Latina. Thank you. Dos Latinas and a half. Hello, <laughs> Latina. Well, you are my, my half Latina. <laughs> Thank you, Elisa for being a part of those Latinas. And please follow us through the social media because we've got a lot to offer. Hasta la vista. We've got what it takes. Hasta la vista.